As the crisis at the border persists, there have been growing debates about what's actually causing so many migrants to come to the United States. Now, we know what's not bringing migrants here. We know based on our analysis of crop data that it's not climate change, and we know based on falling homicide rates that it's not fears for safety in Central America either. So what is driving the crisis? Well, it's primarily the loopholes in our own asylum law, and there is no loophole bigger than the FLORA Settlement Agreement. To understand the current crisis, you have to understand the history and purpose of FLORA's and how it's changed over time. So FLORA started out as a 1997 agreement between immigration activists and the Clinton administration regarding the detention of unaccompanied minors at the border. However, over time, this settlement has been greatly expanded to include more people, and the original language of people from the Clinton administration indicates that they knew exactly what they were doing when they signed this agreement. Indeed, since 1997, Flores has been expanded far beyond its original mandate. The biggest change came in 2015. A California district judge named Dolly G said that Flores applies not only to unaccompanied minors, but also to accompanied minors or those who show up with adults or parents. Furthermore, the judge said that all migrants, accompanied or not, have to be released into the United States from HHS custody within 20 days. This decision was reaffirmed by the Ninth Circuit in 2016, right as the crisis began to heat up. Now, the decision meant that any child and any parent who shows up with their child are going to get into the United States within three weeks. Obviously, that's a very powerful incentive to make the dangerous journey to the United States. And it helps explain why the number of aliens asking for credible fear, the first step in asylum, rose 67% in 2018 and tenfold since a decade ago. Until loopholes such as floors are closed, the crisis is going to persist.